welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Maesta. I am a game developer. I like to build and script and 3D model. And right now I'm working on a project called The Sandbox Place. I took a little bit of a break for the past few weeks because, well not a break, like I've definitely been working on it and learning a bunch of stuff, but I haven't been able to like take the time and really like show off what I'm doing and film it. So today I kind of decided that, or yesterday I decided that I would just kind of like go over the snapping system that I've been working on. Maybe I'll revisit the weird other things that I was working on. I was trying to go for something more sims like because I came to a blocker in the snapping method that I'm working on and instead of solving it I decided to start from scratch and do things all over again which was not smart because I didn't get anywhere with the other thing either and I should have just tried to solve it but we haven't solved it yet we're gonna figure that out as we go there's some issues with wedges being kind of annoying if I want to like have angled walls and stuff like I'm still trying to figure that out so if anybody has any ideas of how I could resolve this issue I'll show it in the video and we can try to fix it together my camera is broken things are a little bit warped but it's okay thank you guys for joining me on today's video if you like my content you should subscribe to it because then you can see more stuff from me I love getting all of your comments because they make me happy and all that kind of stuff so yeah let's get into the video now I'm excited to show you my snapping system in the sandbox place. So I'm going to start with this door here and put it out and we're going to grab this and turn it into a different structure. Take this wall piece here and make it into a window. There was a window in there. We're gonna add it back afterward. So now that we have a window piece, a brick wall piece, and a door piece, we can basically do anything with this. We have wood pieces here. They don't really line up, and I don't know why. But I kind of want them to also have snapping bits so that they can line up with the bases here we're not going to give them top pieces we're just going to only allow bottom pieces so i'm just going to take back bottom all of these and copy them and put them inside of the wood floor and now they will snap to that right there so now we have these pieces wall and we're dragging this around and we want to drag it from the center but because we're on this side of the wall we want to make it so that even though I'm in the center it's snapping these two pieces together where my mouse is still centered to the part but if I was on this side of the part then we would want to attach to this side that would be confusing for the four pieces so I think we're going to strictly only allow it to snap to these sides here and ignore this potential situation because it has become very chaotic and messy and I want it to not be chaotic and messy. So now we have the input object, the filter type, and the filter, and we can just recast the world as much as we want to. Click items folder, find item ID, and now we're going to the new stand for item. here called Raycast World, which basically takes an input of your input object, a filter type, and the filter. So you have a whitelist filter so that we can work with the base plate only, and we take the green point to race where the mouse is on the screen as a ray in the world, based off of where your camera is as well, the position of your camera 
pointed directly where your mouse is. Mouseunitray.origin is that point there. So we have the direction of the unit, which is just a unit vector. We multiply it by 500, so it creates a really long ray. And that really long ray, look around in wherever the ray is going, and then it returns a raycast result. And in the raycast results, it will have a position that it intersects with something, the instance that it is. So in this case, because we're only whitelisting it to a filter of the base plate, then we're only searching for the base plate. So if it doesn't find the base plate, then there is no position that it will return. It will be nil. Build. <gasps> we're getting somewhere. Okay, now I have this. And see, it is dragging around in the world now. So apparently I haven't been recording a lot of the actual things that I've been doing so far with this, so I'm sorry, but we're gonna kind of catch you up to what has happened so far. Gosh, we got so far, y'all. We got so far. So here we have this function here called the drag ball structure. What we're doing in here is we are checking all of the nearest attachments with this for loop. And how this for loop works is you have a nearest attachment which is set to nil for now and a nearest distance which is the max distance from your start position. And what you do is you iterate through objects that you want to check the distance between and if the distance is less than the nearest distance then our new nearest attachment point would be the attachment and our new nearest distance would be that distance, which is smaller than the previous distance. And eventually it narrows it down to the nearest object. And then we went into the nearest attachments and we are figuring out how we want to attach things. Because it's a wall, we want to attach it on the x-axis so that it lines up and you can create wall pieces. But once we get into the floor, we want to attach them to the z-axis so that it would be on the inside or the outside of the wall. have the nearest attachments world C frame and we're taking the, the inverse of the offset of the primary stamp items position. We are multiplying it by that so that basically it just lines up properly. That's what we were working on. I didn't record it properly so it, it's a little bit hopefully it makes sense. is we want to make it so that floor structures can attach on both sides. Yesterday was Friday, today's Saturday. What we are going to be starting on now is basic rotating the parts. So right now the snapping system works. After this we need to work on making the math work if you rotate the part. But the problem with this is that there's going to be z-fighting on it so I'm kind of trying to figure out how I want to do that. We're going to work on just trying to get that working now. <laughs> 